And you might be like, okay, Katie, where are you going next? Where are you going next? That's been like this whole question the last like month or so. And most of this video is just going to be this stop right now. My car is very packed. Okay, where's my steering wheel desk? Oh no. Let me show you a comparison, okay? I think you need to see this. Don't matter how many miles I burn down these county roads, I'll never outrun. The stars under which we made that vow to stay true to us. We should never give up, never leave, never stop loving one another. No, never ever, but now it's gone. Mm. Now your memory burns like whiskey. Tiny little spark and it goes up like me and you Up in flames in a day and all that's left is brutal truth In some embers and ashes and some flashes in the dark Then it hits me Your memory burns like whiskey Hi, this is Katie. In today's video, we're going on a little road trip. Actually, the road trip is quite long, but this video is actually gonna be pretty short, which I'll explain in a second. But basically, if you watch my last video or just any of my recent videos, you would know that I was staying in Florida for about a year, and then I drove up north, and I was staying in New York for about four or five weeks to go see doctors and stuff. And I finally left New York. And I left this morning at around, well, exactly 5.17. I left this morning and right now it is 1.55 p.m. And all I've filmed so far is just a little bit of B-roll because honestly, I am so tired today. I'm so tired. I literally woke up at like 4.30 and I did not fall asleep until like 12.30. So I did not sleep a lot. But also like, honestly, my New York trip was very overwhelming. It was, it was a lot for me. I felt very depressed. Most of the time I was in New York, not the whole time, but most of the time I felt very anxious. I felt very overwhelmed. And um, I think maybe I explained some of that already in one of my videos, um, but if not, I might even explain it a little bit more. But you know, just a lot of the doctor stuff did not go as I thought. And then even just some personal things that I was going through, I just was having a rough time in New York. And so I got everything kind of wrapped up that I needed to. There were still a couple doctors that I did not end up going to, but basically everything else I got wrapped up. And so I decided that it was time to leave and you might be like okay Katie where are you going next where are you going next that's been like this whole question the last like month or so is that I knew I was leaving Florida and I knew I was going to New York for like you know a few weeks or a month or so but I didn't know where I was going next and so to kind of like potentially burst your bubble a little bit I still don't exactly know where I'm going except that I'm spending the next week or two at my dad's um, because again New York was like very overwhelming for me and so I just want to kind of go like relax and I only put that in quotes because you guys know that I struggle with relaxing like I don't really know how but I want to practice relaxing a little bit at my dad's in South Carolina and just hang out with him a little bit and I am going to film like one or two videos while I'm there but I'm not going to film a lot because I really want to kind of focus on just like resting and reading and hanging out with my dad and like going on walks and that kind of stuff and so I'm gonna film a little bit but I really just want to just I don't know kind of like reset a little bit because again I can repeat this a million times but New York was a lot for me um, and even things that weren't necessarily connected to New York just other personal things going on it's just been a very heavy and overwhelming month and so I just kind of need to like process some personal things and then process all the health things and stuff. And again, if you want to know more about the health things, I'll have that video linked up here because I think I posted it like just a couple of videos ago, all my health updates. Well, I posted two videos over the last month. Anyway, regardless. So I left New York this morning and I'm driving to South Carolina to go spend a week or two with my dad's and then I don't exactly know where I'm going after that yet. I have a couple ideas, but I will tell you guys when I'm certain. So just in a week or two, when I'm certain, I'll let you guys know where I'm going after that. But I just definitely like kind of need like a mental reset a physical reset and so I'm gonna go spend time at my dad's and just kind of rest a little bit and again I'll film a little bit there but this video you guys know that I like to film um, like when I'm on these road trips but this video I have been so 
tired. I only got four hours of sleep and it's like a 15 hour drive. And so I am so tired and I'm more than halfway done. I think I've been driving for about eight and a half hours. And so honestly, I've just been so tired that I haven't really wanted to be on camera. I haven't really wanted to film a lot. Like I'm just tired. And again, I'm just overwhelmed from leaving and there's just like a lot going on. But obviously I wanted to film something for you guys. And so I did a little bit of B-roll of driving and I'm gonna do a little bit of B-roll driving like the rest of the way, not totally the rest of the way, but like another few hours as well but most of this video is just going to be this stop right now so again it's been about eight and a half hours i did stop once at a rest stop just to use the restroom and get gas quick i did not do anything else and again now that it's it's actually two o'clock right now i wanted to stop and like eat a proper meal use the restroom again stretch my legs again because i'm so tired and i don't drink caffeine or anything so i just want to like go outside walk around for a couple minutes my hair is bothering me okay there we go um oh by the way i am wearing the same outfit that i wore in my last video because I filmed that video yesterday. I thought I was leaving tomorrow, but I ended up leaving today, whatever. Um, but I'm wearing the same outfit. Have I washed it since then? No, I just am wearing the same outfit as what I wore yesterday. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I just wanted to film the next, you know, like 10, 15 minutes of just me, I'm at a pilot. You guys know I used to live in my car and I used to travel all over the country and I used to sleep in my car a lot and I would sleep at a lot of like pilots and flying J's. I love truck stops, I love them. And so one thing that I wanna do is I want to actually film a little bit inside of pilot just in case you haven't seen them and don't really know what they are. I'm gonna film a little bit inside and a little bit outside as well, just to kind of show you. And then we're just gonna eat and hang out a little bit and then I'm just gonna walk around a little bit. Um, and that's mostly gonna be what this video is, just like hanging out with me a little bit at a pilot. Um, and then again, a little bit more b-roll as I'm just finishing the drive to my dad's but this is all I really plan on filming I'm gonna stop one more time but I'm not gonna film that either I just wanted to film right now and so now again it's two o'clock I just got gas and I'm gonna go use the restroom and wash my hands and then I'm gonna film a little bit while I'm in there and then we're gonna come back in the car and eat or if there's a picnic table or something outside I might eat outside but I don't see any so we'll see but anyway I'm gonna go for a second um, and then we'll just film inside pilot and outside and I'll just kind of show you what it looks like Okay, so this pilot is a Subway, Dunkin' Donuts, and a pilot. They usually have some sort of restaurant, like a Burger King or Wendy's or whatever. It don't matter how many times that clock starts over, we can never go back. To the day for it all fell apart, to get it back on track. See, I never really thought you and I hated expiration date it'd be us forever guess i was wrong mm. now your memory burns like whiskey going down a hundred thousand proof one tiny little spark and it goes up like me and you up in flames in a day and all that's left is brutal truth and some embers and ashes and some flashes in the dark then it hits me your memory car is very packed. <laughs> it's packed a little more than it was last time um, because I also brought my record player. You can see me. Hello. I also grabbed my record player from my mom's house that's been there for the last like year or two. I grabbed that while I was in New York. So I put that in the front seat and then the back seat is a little bit more filled because I didn't do laundry. Uh, yesterday I was going to do laundry and then I didn't. So I just have a giant laundry bag. But besides that, it's packed I mean, a little bit differently, but still most of the same stuff. Hey guys, okay, so, I'm so tired, but I'm good, I'm good. I'm not like fall asleep tired, I'm just like tired, you know? But if I was too tired, I would not be driving. Okay, where's my steering wheel desk? I put it over there, didn't I? I think I put it over there. Actually, you know what, I don't need it. I, I know that's weird for me to say, but I don't need it because I think I'm just eating a packet of chicken. I don't, need a, I don't need a table for that. Oh no. So this is a cooler in here. And my little brain was not thinking that it was in the sun. And I was like, oh, cooler. But so like this one got like the tiniest bit warm. No, okay. Actually, I think it's good. I got worried for a second, but it's only like the tiniest bit warm. Only a little. Not, not really. I think I'm good. I mean, I'm gonna start with this one anyway, but I also have these. I have two, hold on, there's a hair on that one. Don't look at it, don't look at it. 
I have the Star Kissed Chicken Creations Zesty Lemon Pepper, and then, totally different, is the Swanson Lemon and Coarse Ground Pepper. <laughs> but these just feel a little warmer. These feel colder. And honestly, I'm just gonna eat these. I think I have a couple of these. What the heck? I thought I had like four of these. Oh, I have at least two. Oh, is this one? No, uh... no like this part's kind of warm, but the chicken part's good. Anyway, I'm gonna have two of these and some potato chips as my lunch. Um, all I've eaten so far today is I had a protein bar and then I had a couple of potato chips and a couple of popcorners. So that's what I've eaten so far and it's 2.30. But again, I woke up at 4.30 in the morning. So avocado oil potato chips, Boulder Canyon, and I have a fork. Oh, that air is probably too loud. Sorry, it's so warm. I think honestly one of the reasons why I'm so tired is like I think I'm a little overheated even though I don't know why. Always lock your doors if you're just like hanging out in a parking lot. Um, I don't know why I'm overheated. I mean, I've had the air on this whole time but I don't know but I just feel a little like you know like when you feel that kind of like I don't know tired from being in the sun. So I guess even though I've had the air on it's still like sunny out. I actually prefer to drive. Why does it take me so long? I prefer to drive when it's cloudy. Fun fact about Katie Carney. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have two of these and some chips. And obviously, I've already had like three of these. I think this is my third or fourth. This might be my fourth. Um, and I, maybe my third? I don't know. And I have, I brought a 12 pack with me and then I had like a couple extras, so. All right, thank you God so much for my food. In Jesus' name, amen. So these little pouches are 70 calories and 11 grams of protein. Whenever I do that, I always get like nervous because sometimes the chicken like flies. But these are really good. Um, if you can eat tuna, I can't, but if you can, they have a ton of flavors of the tuna. But the chicken, they only have like four flavors or something. And this is one of the ones that I can eat with all my food allergies and it's really good. The chicken's not warm at all. I wouldn't eat it if the chicken got warmed up in these packages, um, but it's not warm at all. It's actually a little cold, which I don't really know how but it's like a little cold. Because these weren't in the fridge before. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. hmm So on the rest of my drive, I am stopping at Bucky's to get my dad's favorite candy. And I'll use the restroom while I'm there too and just stretch my legs a little bit. But that's in several hours. I don't know where I am right now. Mm. Yes, I do, but now I forget. It was like a really fun word. Oh, dang it. Hold on. Let me look at my map. Because it was a fun word town, I think. Hold on. You guys, I'm in a town called Skippers, Virginia. Is that not the cutest town name you've ever heard? Uh, it's very South Virginia. I'm almost in North Carolina. On 95. So if you're getting tired while you're driving, obviously if you're too tired, don't drive. Pull over, take a nap, take a rest, whatever. But if you're just getting like a little tired where it's like, uh, um, eat something, drink something, maybe open the window, get some air, stop and take a walk whether outside or in the air conditioning somewhere i always have food in my cheeks if you have a spray fan like i have but it's like hidden with no water in it right now i guess i could add some but i have a fan that's a fan but you can spray yourself with it too that might help wake you up mm. i don't drink caffeine if you drink caffeine then you can have caffeine i'm sure that will help you but also honestly I was thinking of getting like a Sprite because I love Sprite so much and I don't drink it very often. But honestly, even sugar doesn't really wake me up. So I don't drink caffeine and sugar does not really help me like, I don't know. Isn't it supposed to give you like a, like a sugar, what do they call that? I forget what they call that. Like when kids eat too much sugar, a sugar rush. But like, I don't get that. Is it because I eat too much sugar? <laughs> so like having some doesn't do anything. I don't know. Bubba has been on my lap while I'm driving. He's helping me guys. Mm. 
When did I drip? The napkin caught it. I mean, it caught most of it. And the, like, the tiniest bit went on the other packet of chicken, so none of it got on me. A plus. If I'm gonna drop food, drop it on the napkin is ideal. I think in my last video, when I was talking about getting snacks for my road trip, I think that I mentioned that it's hard for me to find mega Smarties nowadays, the really big Smarties that are like this big and they're more sour than regular Smarties. And so in that video, I just got a bag of regular Smarties because I do love those. They're probably my favorite candy. Well, honestly, the mega Smarties are probably my favorite candy, but I also love regular Smarties. <laughs> I talk so much in my hand, but I'm holding this napkin and it's close and it's weird. Anyway, I love mega Smarties. They're bigger, but they're more sour. I love them. But I used to get them at Five Below and I could not find them the last couple times I went to Five Below and I went to different Five Below. So I'm like, uh oh, do they not sell them anymore? I don't know where else to get them. And then I literally walked into Pilot and I filmed a bunch and then I was just kind of like walking around for another minute without filming. And then I saw that they had Mega Smarties in their candy section. So I got two of them. Let me show you. Let me show you a comparison, okay? I think you need to see this. Okay, here's regular Smarties. Compare it to my head, okay? These are Mega Smarties. So not only is it like bigger that way, but like, look, look at that. Look at the diameter. Yeah, I'll take one out and show you, of course, for science. Regular Smarty, Mega Smarty. And again, these are even more sour too. So like, if you like a little bit more of a sour, I've noticed that these are more sour. They don't promote it that way, but I've noticed that they are for some reason. Look at that. And I love these. And again, like I didn't know where else to get them. And then they were just at Pilot, which is like my favorite place. When I used to live in my car, like honestly truck stops felt like home kind of. Well, to be fair, my car feels like home. My car is my home. But I just used to sleep at truck stops so often that like they just kind of, you know, like I was familiar with them. They kind of just felt like a home. And so of course they have my Mega Smarties because Pilot is so good to me. All right, I'm, I guess I, no, let me save these. on my napkin because I'm going to eat this other packet of chicken as well. And then I'm probably just going to sit here for like five minutes, but I'm not going to rest. Oh, by the way, I know some people can nap. I can't nap. Okay. So I'm going to finish eating. And then again, I'm just going to sit here for a couple minutes and just like look at my phone and just kind of like have my brain chill out for just like a couple minutes. And then I'm going to get back on the road. And so again, I will have some B-roll footage of the drive, but in terms of like me talking, I think this is it. I think this is it for the whole video. <laughs> And so thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me just a little bit today while I'm on this drive, or really while I'm stopping while I'm on a 15 hour drive from New York to South Carolina. I hope that you enjoyed this little video. I really hope that you're subscribed for some travel videos like this and then just like a bunch of vlogs where we're just hanging out together. And yeah, I guess it's gonna be it. Thank you again for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Some embers and ashes and some flashes in the dark Yeah, it hits me